Hi, this is James from Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today we're going to take a look at an expansion for one of my favorite games, 51st State. 51st State is published by Portal Games and is designed by Anasi Chevichek, and it's in a post-apocalyptic world where you're just trying to survive and build, I guess, your post-apocalyptic civilization. No Man's Land is an expansion for this where you're going to have territories that are going to be put out in a grid and you're going to be trying to level them up through the game to get different rewards and such. So let's go ahead down to the table here. I'll give you a general idea what how to play with this expansion and what comes with this expansion and then we'll come back and I'll give you my final thought. <music> Alright, so this is the No Man's Land expansion for 51st State, and it's going to come with all the components that you see in here. And setup for the game is going to be pretty easy. Basically, you're going to take this giant deck of new cards here, and you're going to shuffle them into the base game cards. And for the most part, when you're doing 51st State, you only put one expansion in with the base game at a time, but you get a ton of new cards uh, with, and you can see the where they actually have this new symbol on here that interact a little differently. Um, but you get a ton of new cards here with this expansion to mix in with the base game. I'm just gonna save through a couple more of these here. And we're gonna go over what all this stuff means here in a second. So, like I said, you'll have these cards with this new symbol on here. And you'll mix that stack into the base game here. And that's it. So that's 90% of the setup. The other 10% is going to be setting up this board here. And when you see these cards, it's actually going to show you the location that they're going to go in. And you're going to set up this 3x3 three three grid here for each of the players. Each player is going to get a set of one of these uh, outpost tokens. And there's going to be 6 in each. And that's the max you, of outposts that you can have in the game. If you need to place another outpost and they're full, you'll take away from a different outpost. So you'll set up that three by three grid and you'll give each player a set of their outpost tokens. Each of these territory cards uh, has three different levels on them. And each you're gonna start from the bottom and go up. Each of them are gonna have a different reward that you're gonna get for activating each of the levels. And each of them have a different armor rating. So this is two armor, three armor, four armor. When you place your token on there, you always go to the lowest location. For this map location, there's actually six different directions that you have to be uh, aware of that will relate to different cards and stuff. You have your uh, north, south, west, and east. And you will also have your central direction, which is here. And you'll have your uh, central horizontal direction that's here. So those are the six different directions that you can have in the game that do correspond to different cards in the game and that you need to be aware of. So to build an outpost is pretty simple. When you build an outpost, you're going to need to discard a card that has the matching symbol. In this case, it's going to be these, the, the bullets. So I'll need to go through and I'll need to have a card like this. And I would discard the card and then I can place my um, building there. For placing buildings or outposts out, it's pretty simple. You just need to discard a card with a matching token. In this case, they're all going to be level one. They're all going to be green. You need those bullets. So I discard this card and I can place one there. Now, for placing your tokens, you have to place one orthogonally adjacent to one of your existing outposts. And there can't be another outpost in that location. If there's no valid place, you can't place out an outpost. Also, if you place out your seventh outpost, you have to remove an outpost from a location to put the new outpost down. You also, in the lookout phase, during this phase, you may either skip uh, your first or second card selection to build an outpost without paying the cost on any occupied, unoccupied, sorry, uh, territory card during subsequent lookout phases. You may skip either the first or second selection of cards to build an outpost without paying the cost in an unoccupied territory card orthogonally adjacent to a territory with one of your outposts. You activate the built outpost automatically. So that's going to be how you're going to get your starting outposts out and then later on how you can get more outposts out in that lookout phase. 
You can upgrade a outpost to a level two. The way that you're going to do that is you're going to need to have a card matching this symbol here uh, to be able to move it up and then you will get the reward on the right. To move it up to level three, you'd have to be at level two and then you can have that discard the card with that matching symbol and you can move it up to the third level and get the reward at the top. So that's really, in a quick nutshell, how you're going to do upgrading. Uh, you can also raz an en enemy outpost. As an action, you may uh, raz the enemy outpost by spending in the number of contact tokens, which are going to be those red tokens, uh, equal to the defense value that the level is on. So here would be two, three, and four to be able to raz it, and then you just remove that token from that territory. Now, you could also use the defense tokens to beef that up a little bit, but the defense tokens do get cleaned up at the end of the round. Just two other things here. Uh, when you're on the board here, there's cards that let you activate your outpost. You'll just get those rewards. And this also works for the solo game. There's going to be rules on the back of this to integrate that with the solo version of 51st State. So that's it for this expansion. Uh, let's go ahead back up to the table here, and I'll give you my final thoughts on 51st State No Man's Land. Okay, so I love 51st Aid. It's one of my favorite games. Uh, no Man's Land is an interesting expansion for it. One real cool thing with 51st Aid is whenever you use an expansion, you just mix in that expansion with the base game and play. So you're not going to have a big delusion of cards with the multiple different expansions that are available for 51st Aid. So I appreciate that a lot. So the cards that you get new in here, you're going to probably see fairly often as you as the game goes by. So the territory thing's interesting. You can get locked out, so it is going to, I think really what that feels for feels like is when you have that grid out and you're basically trying not to get knocked out of the grid, but I don't feel like I have to pay attention to it a whole lot. I like the bonuses that I can get. Those are pretty nice. If I have some um, turns where, you know, I don't really have the most effective uh, decisions that I can make. That one is a good decision that I can make. I can actually get some bonuses in there and discard some cards that I probably wouldn't have otherwise played. So I like it for that. It really gives an interesting sort of little puzzle to think about during the game itself. So that adds to the game and it doesn't actually take all that much more to explain that. Uh, if you've already played the base game, even if you haven't played the base game, it's not really that much more to do. And it doesn't actually lengthen the game in any way. Uh, if anything, it may, eh, probably about the same, but I mean, you might find where it shortens the game sometimes because you get those bonuses and um, they can really help out in the right time. So really like this expansion. Always like the art for it. Always like the flavor text on this stuff. So if you like 51st State, this is probably an expansion I would, pick up. So I'd highly recommend it if you love 51st State. And that's my thoughts on 51st State No Man's Land. Thank you for watching.